In the heart of the bustling city of Rosewood, there stood an old Victorian house that had seen better days. Its once vibrant exterior paint had faded to a muted gray, and the garden was overgrown with wildflowers and ivy. Yet, despite its weathered appearance, the house retained a certain charm and mystery, drawing curious onlookers and history enthusiasts alike. For James, a 30-year-old architect, the house was more than just an architectural wonder, it was a treasure trove of family history. James had inherited the house from his grandmother, Eleanor, who had recently passed away. Eleanor had been a spirited woman with a love for storytelling, often regaling James with tales of her adventurous youth and the deep love she shared with his grandfather, Henry. As a child, James had spent countless hours exploring the nooks and crannies of the old house, captivated by the stories of the past that seemed to linger in the air. One rainy afternoon, while sorting through the attic, James stumbled upon a dusty, old chest. Intrigued, he pried it open to reveal a collection of yellowed letters tied together with a faded ribbon. The letters were addressed to Eleanor and as James carefully unfolded one of them, he recognized his grandfather's handwriting. My dearest Eleanor, every moment spent with you is a treasure I hold dear. Though we are apart, my thoughts are with you always. Until we can be together again, know that my heart is yours. Yours forever, Henry James's heart skipped a beat as he read the letter. He had always known that his grandparents shared a deep love, but these letters provided a glimpse into the emotions and experiences they had shared during their time apart. His curiosity piqued, James decided to read through the entire collection. As the rain continued to patter against the attic window, James read letter after letter, each one filled with declarations of love, accounts of their daily lives, and dreams for the future. Through these letters, James learned about the challenges his grandparents had faced, the sacrifices they had made, and the unwavering love that had sustained them through it all. One letter, in particular, caught James's attention. Dated August 1945, it was written shortly after the end of World War II. In it, Henry described his anticipation of returning home to Eleanor and starting their life together anew. He also mentioned a locket he had purchased for her, which he had hidden in a special place in the house, along with a map that would lead her to it. My dearest Eleanor, the war is finally over, and I cannot wait to return to you. I have missed you more than words can express. To celebrate our reunion, I have a special gift for you, a locket that holds a piece of my heart. I have hidden it in the house, along with a map that will lead you to it. I hope this small adventure will bring a smile to your face and remind you of the love we share. Yours always, Henry James's heart swelled with emotion as he imagined his grandfather's excitement and love. He knew he had to find the locket and the map. It was a piece of his family's history, a symbol of the enduring love that had brought him into existence. Determined, James began searching the house for clues. He started in the attic, where he had found the letters, meticulously examining every corner and crevice. Hours passed, and just as he was about to give up, he noticed a loose floorboard near the attic entrance. With a sense of anticipation, he pried it open and discovered a small, leather-bound notebook. Inside, he found the map. The map was hand-drawn, with intricate details of the house and its surroundings. James marveled at the craftsmanship and care that had gone into creating it. According to the map, the locket was hidden in the garden, beneath the old oak tree where Eleanor and Henry had shared their first kiss. Excitedly, James made his way to the garden. 
The rain had stopped, and the sun was beginning to peek through the clouds, casting a golden glow on the wet grass. He approached the oak tree, feeling a sense of connection to his grandparents with every step. As he knelt beside the tree, he noticed a small, weathered box partially buried beneath the roots. With trembling hands, James unearthed the box and carefully opened it. Inside, nestled in a bed of velvet, was a beautiful, antique locket. It was a delicate piece of jewelry, adorned with intricate engravings and a small, heart-shaped pendant. James gently opened the locket to reveal a tiny photograph of his grandparents on their wedding day, their faces radiating happiness and love. Tears welled up in James's eyes as he held the locket, feeling the weight of his family's history and the enduring love that had been passed down through generations. He knew he had to share this discovery with his family to preserve the memory of Eleanor and Henry's love story for future generations. Over the next few days, James carefully documented the letters and the map, creating a scrapbook that told the story of his grandparents' love. He included photographs, handwritten notes, and mementos that he had found in the old house, weaving together a tapestry of their lives. As he worked on the scrapbook, James couldn't help but feel a sense of longing. Reading about his grandparents' love had made him realize how much he yearned for a deep, meaningful connection in his own life. He had been so focused on his career and responsibilities that he had neglected his own heart. One evening, as James was finishing the scrapbook, he decided to take a walk to clear his mind. He wandered through the streets of Rosewood, lost in thought, when he stumbled upon a small, cozy café. Drawn by the warm glow of the lights and the inviting aroma of freshly brewed coffee, he decided to step inside. The café was quaint and charming, with wooden tables, comfortable chairs, and shelves lined with books. As James ordered a coffee and found a seat, he noticed a young woman sitting alone at a nearby table, engrossed in a book. There was something familiar about her, and as she looked up, their eyes met. James, she asked, her eyes widening in recognition. James's heart skipped a beat. Sophia? Is that you? Sophia smiled, and James felt a rush of memories flooding back. Sophia had been his childhood friend, the girl who had shared his love for adventure and storytelling. They had spent countless hours exploring the old house and creating their own stories, but they had lost touch after high school. I can't believe it's you, James said, his voice filled with wonder. It's been so long. Sophia nodded, her smile warm and genuine. It has. I moved away for college and then for work, but I've recently moved back to Rosewood. It's so good to see you again. They spent the next few hours catching up, sharing stories of their lives and reminiscing about their childhood adventures. As they talked, James felt a familiar sense of comfort and connection. Sophia's presence was like a breath of fresh air, and he realized how much he had missed her. Over the next few weeks, James and Sophia reconnected, spending time together and rediscovering their shared love for storytelling and adventure. They explored the city, visited museums and parks, and spent countless hours talking and laughing. James felt a sense of joy and fulfillment that he hadn't experienced in years. One evening, as they sat in the garden of the old Victorian house, James shared the story of his grandparents' letters and the locket he had found. He showed Sophia the scrapbook he had created, and she listened with rapt attention, her eyes shining with admiration. Your grandparents' love story is incredible 
Sophia said softly, her voice filled with emotion. It's so beautiful and inspiring. James smiled, feeling a sense of pride and gratitude. It is. Their love has taught me so much about what truly matters in life. And finding the locket made me realize how much I want to have that kind of connection in my own life. Sophia looked at him, her eyes full of warmth and affection. I think you already have, she said gently. Our friendship has always been special, and I've always felt a deep connection with you, James. James's heart swelled with emotion as he looked into Sophia's eyes. I've always felt the same way, he admitted. Sophia, I don't want to lose you again. I want to build a future with you, to create our own story filled with love and adventure. Sophia smiled, her eyes glistening with tears of happiness. I want that too, James. More than anything. As they embraced, the world around them seemed to fade away, leaving only the two of them, lost in their own love story. They knew that their journey was just beginning, and that together, they would create a life filled with love, joy, and countless adventures. Years later, James and Sophia stood in the garden of the old Victorian house, now beautifully restored and full of life. The house had become a cherished family home, a place where their own children could grow up surrounded by the love and history that had shaped their lives. In the evenings, as the sun set and the garden was bathed in a warm, golden light, James and Sophia would sit beneath the old oak tree, sharing stories of the past and dreams for the future. They would often open the scrapbook, showing their children the letters and photographs that told the tale of their grandparents' enduring love. And as they held the antique locket, now a cherished family heirloom, they would tell their children the story of how their love had been passed down through generations, a testament to the power of love, resilience, and the magic of finding one's soulmate. Their story was one of the most beautiful tales ever written, a story that would continue to inspire and enchant everyone who heard it. And it was a story that reminded them every day of the enduring power of love and the importance of cherishing the moments that truly matter. <laughs>